heard originally you were supposed to be in Mexico right now, and it was quite a struggle for the UFC to get you up here. I mean, were you intentionally trying to remove yourself from all of this and just get away from it? Yeah, this is drama. I see TJ's family, who I used to be close with, and I see Dominic Cruz, who I don't really like very much, and I see Dwayne Ludwig, who's, who's a nutball, you know, whatever, and I'm like, I don't want to be around all that, so I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go to Mexico, i got a place in Mexico, go sit in the sun, like, get some get some, uh, get some, some good rays and, and, and watch the fight, kick back with my buddies in Sayulita, and, um, you know, but uh, they paid me, so here. So they paid you to come up here, but then... Uh, they, they didn't pay me, I, I did a couple appearances. But so no, I got paid for that. No sense of you, like, no direction from them for you to get into the cage afterwards, no talk of anything like that? People could ask me if I'm going to get in the cage. Look, people want to see that fight. People know about me. I, I mean, you know, I might get in there and I'm, this is, I'm not going to, I had nothing to say. Cruz could be next for you. Is that the fight that you're going to be angling for? Yeah, that's the, that's the fight for me next. 100%. We've been, we've been trying to do this fight forever. Somehow, the UFC messed up and put us in this promotional thing where we had to do teamwork in a, on a, uh, this military exhibit. We were like, we're about to fight each other, and they put us on this PR thing. We actually, for two days, got along pretty well and uh, exchanged phone numbers somewhere in there. He got my phone number at some point. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> so, throughout the years, we've talked <laughs> privately. <laughs> Let's go, motherfucker. <laughs> like, well, you gonna you gonna heal up? You gonna, you know? I mean, I could read these. I mean, once every year. No, please do. Once please every do. year, we talk some. Let me see what I got here. No, I mean, yeah, just screenshot it's them, been a long send time. them to me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so to be honest, this is a fight that's been coming for a long time. Uh, so you're right. A quick question while you're looking for that. Um, you're talking about how Dwayne's like kind of seeming to. To maybe cross some boundaries that you don't want to be crossed, or, or what have you. I mean, have there been uh, threats of physical violence? Not that you couldn't handle yourself. Have there been? <laughs> That's right. Have there been all <laughs> but I mean, like you know, I mean, like have you ever th- almost not feared for your own safety, but thought about your own safety with like like he might do something that you know? No, I would fear for his safety. <laughs> Period. I mean, we have Darren Elkins train with us. He smashed a dude. And we got we got, everyone on our team could be Dwayne Ludwig. Well, but anyways, I now, hate to say it. That's what the fox catcher guys said. Yeah. Oh, you know some I mean? weirdo stuff. Not, yeah. You know what now, I'm saying? You know what? Here's here's the thing with Dwayne. He's he's an emotional guy. He's got some instability. It comes out. The the whole beef between us is about imaginary money that doesn't exist. I, I because agree. I agreed because no one else was willing to give up their their discretionary bonuses because I agreed to give him extra money and and those are discretionary so you don't know where they're coming so there's imaginary money that he thinks he's being ripped off for and he can't get it out of his head it's bizarre I've never had a money issue with anyone I've actually given TJ money I've given you know I crew uh Chad Mendes money. I was the I, I provided forty one percent of his pay when he was on our team, you know. So and the guys out of your imagine well because I was a top breadwinner mm-hmm. and and I was also giving bonuses. So it's bizarre to me. I mean, the dysfunction follows that guy. And I, I mean, I he's actually he can be a sweet guy. I went when he was coaching for me and with me. It was like. Sometimes he's like so thankful for the opportunity. He's never seen an environment like this before, and this team is so rare, and this and that. Then it was like, "Where's my, where's my money that doesn't exist?" And I know you got something because I used to get something. I'm like, "Bro, I don't know what to do with you, bud. I mean, do, do your thing." You know, I actually coach him. He's, I mean, I'm not gonna get into it, but the bottom line is, it's it, you don't cry over spilled milk. I feel bad for TJ because I know what a competitive guy is, and that guy really trains. His butt off. It's it, getting manipulated by people here and there, or going for money over, over you know where he's built and stuff like that. That's all secondhand to the fact that he's a human being and and he's an emotional guy and he's going to take this really hard. I when he lost to Sun Tzu, I had to give him a pep talk. I told him, TJ, look. I said, how are you feeling? He said, I've been pretty down and out. I said, all I said was, you know, you can't be so emotionally invested with, with a win or loss like that, or else you're not going to enjoy this thing and that's going to hurt you. You know, and he's like, "Thank you for that." I mean, I've, you know, I've been mentoning that guy, so I mean, I feel for him. Could you envision a situation where uh, where TJ could come back to Alpha Male down the line, or do you think that bridge? Is it's it's a weird situation. I, I I mean, I don't I don't foresee that. He's what he started to do. Once I told him he couldn't be in the gym because he's not on the team, he started recruiting our guys. And so, you know, it's like a you know, like I said, it's cancerous. Where people you have someone 
make a little bit of doubt, a little bit of fear in your mind, that stuff's contagious. You know, perception is reality. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, whether you think you're getting better, or you think you have the right coaches or this and that. We have all these freaking coaches in there. <laughs> Somebody's convinced somebody that they don't have the right coach. It's like, dude, trust me, we built a team of guys from the ground up. My next up and comers are Joseph Morales, Angelo Trevino, Andrew Coyne, you know, Cody No Love. These are guys, these the first three I named have been with me since they were 10, 11. You think they're going to get sold off when they're champions? No. So what, what do you think about the judges tonight as far as the, their such wide opinions? and uh, That was bizarre, huh? Uh, what do you think they're looking at? Uh, I mean, as far as, you know, attempted aggression, uh, success? Okay, I, I, I would say this. TJ definitely moved forward more and probably threw more punches, but Cruz was backing up, making, missing, and connecting getting him frustrated, and then if he did get caught with something big, he'd fire back with four or five punches. Boom, boom, boom. And so, and land him. <clears throat> and then he also baited him into deep takedowns, you know, on a guy that doesn't get taken down very much and control him a little bit. So, I mean, it was it was pretty obvious to me. I mean... It seemed like TJ, he really looked to get uh, quite frustrated in there. He was... Trust me. to get angry. I mean, can you give some insight into Dude, how that is? you want insight on TJ being frustrated... I had to, I had to talk that guy off a ledge. I mean, on a daily basis when he first started training with us, because he's, you know, he'd start crying and, you know, if he, he'd like try to kill somebody if they got one punch on him and they didn't think they should. You know, like he's a competitive guy, so I knew, and I said I don't want to share my insight on the fight. I knew his temper was going to be a problem in this fight. I knew that for a fact. Do you think, I know him. Do you think Dom was trying to fuel the fire? Do you think he was? Just being like calling it how he saw it. Do you think he was going? You are getting used and abused by your, you know, who you're training with now. I you get him mad, or do you think he legit felt that way? I didn't listen to one interview that those guys did. Listen, when you're when you're dealing with a bunch of crap, the last thing you want to do is is be like a pig in crap and roll around in it. <laughs> I, I, I I try to focus on my new house. I'm building my new young guys that are loyal to me. And uh, finding solutions for our team, which is the best team in the world, and not worry about that. You don't worry about. It. You know, Conor McGregor said it. You know, champions focus on cha- What is it? Losers show- focus on champions, and champions focus on champions. Well, yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> anyway, I take your word for it. Yeah. No. Basically, think about yourself. But no. Um... I guess there's no such thing as a guarantee, but is there anything that guarantees you that you'll you'll be fighting Dom? Uh, nope. I haven't heard one guarantee, but, I mean, they're not dummies. You know, there's one guy that's beat Cruz, and we had a uh, knockdown drag out the second time. I put him on his butt on multiple occasions. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's something we've been building up for a long time. <laughs> do, you think it, do you think it's kind of inevitable coming into tonight that you fight both of them one way or the other? No, I don't really want to fight TJ. I never wanted to fight TJ. I mean, I, 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 you know, I turned that fight down twice. But you know, you can't put your own life on the back burner for friendship, especially when the friendship's been removed because of greed and or someone else manipulation or whatever, or a loss in confidence in what he's been doing or whatever the deal is. Uh, the way I was treated in the situation, you know, showed me that he's not one of my good friends. So. That's that, and I'm not going to stop my own path to, to greatness because of that. When were you? Offered? I don't want to fight him. I'm sorry, you say you were offered it twice? When, yeah. When was that? I was supposed to fight a soon sal before he got injured. I can't remember who I ended up fighting. And then I got a phone call from Dana, and I feel like he was in a press conference. I mean, he was like in a boardroom or something, and he was just like they had a bet or something. He's like, hey, what if I told you I want you to fight TJ next instead of a soon sal? And I'm like, Ah, man, I just, I don't think I could, man. That's my boy. <laughs> He's like, all right, click. <laughs> yeah. What year was this? What, when was this? Like a year and a half, two years ago? Dude, when I look at my years, I have to go back and look at my 41 fights, and I'll tell you what year it is depending on the fight. I'll be like, that was right before I was supposed to fight a soon and I fought this guy. I fought right before I fought Charlie Valencia. But are we and talking I'll go like more than a year, more than two? But yeah, a couple oh, okay. years ago. Yeah. yeah. It was right we're going to uh, wrap this up because we're going to start the press conference. Yeah. Thanks, Rock. All right, yeah. thanks, Rock. Hey, you got it, guys. Good man.